Have you ever smelled the pepper spray and it's kind of bad? Because when you just smell it, it's like it goes through your lungs and you can breathe for a while. And when you, uh, after a while, your eyes, you can see and like it gets itchy and like there are less of tears in your eyes. Well, why did I do that? Because I was in the middle of the protest and the Turkish post officers were throwing us the uh, spray bombs, actually, capsules from a weapon. So, uh, for, for better explanation, I should go a little back. It was uh, in May 29, 2013. I was in, there was a, a rumor that our president decided to destroy a park and wanted to do a mall instead of a park. So there were some uh, activists and like green lovers went to the park and like put some tents and like um, hang out there for a couple of days. And then the government decided to remove, remove some trees and uh, demolish a wall in the park. So then these uh, protesters wanted to give concerts and show movies. It was like probably the most sophisticated protest in the world. So uh, after the day after that, uh, our president gave a speech in an opening of the bridge. He said that whatever you do, we're not going to change your mind. We're going to be with mom instead of the park. So uh, things start after his speech. The police officers were throwing gas bombs and Agent Orange, which is like worse than the gas bomb, uh, the pepper spray bomb. And there were attack, the police officers attacking the school. The civilians and the president were forcing them to attack because uh, if they don't attack and like use their force, they were gonna ban the suspend from their jobs. So uh, and moreover, they were hiding their helmet numbers because they were applying disproportionate force and was kind of out of law. And however, the uh, however. Uh, the amount of the protesters were rising against the police officers. So, this protest became viral in Turkey, and um, first it started to stumble in a park, then it goes like, like into the other cities because it was kind of a uh, protest against the government. Uh, it was a revolt against the president and the what he's doing and divorce. So uh, the government banned the um, television uh, channels and instead of showing the protest and giving information, he just, they just uh, show us the documentaries of penguins and <laughs> different animals. <laughs> and then people who were in the protest, they were communicating with us from uh, with social media, from Facebook and Twitter, and they were like writing stuff like you should go there, there are plus explosives and they were throwing stuff and you should go this way, it's so, like safer. So um, after a while they discovered that people are communicating from the social media, they shot the internet in Turkey. <laughs> when, after that people were giving their Wi-Fi passwords from their houses to like, let people uh, receive the internet. So, um, and they were also opening their house doors to let people in. Like, don't let them uh, face with that much of gas, which is kind of insane. Uh, and the, you know, while the government was acting ruthlessly, these civil people were kind of like full of mercy and they were in a cooperation. So after our president decided to do speech, and he was like, okay, we're fine, we're not going to be any over malls over there. We can have your own park, we don't care anymore. But this protest, um, and the protest started to settle down. But however, this protest uh, was, I mean, there was a protest for a month. It was not like three day thing, it was for a month. And as a result, it, uh, there was 7,000 injured people, not in Turkey, but in Islam, but like all over in Turkey. And there were six people died in Istanbul for that. Savage case, and uh, there are no clear results. 
because Turkey is a complicated country and it's kind of unstable. So we can say that there's a weird result, but we can still uh, conclude that uniting makes people stronger. And uh, if we fight for what we truly believe, we can. Uh, obtain what we need, and we should like fight for unfair situations. Okay.